All right. Ah, uh, crap. Right. Copper is not what I want. <laughs> I, need, I need a couple of these. Oh, wait. I'm not supposed to be making... No, stop that. I'm not supposed to be doing that. Okay, so I'm supposed to be taking an ore and doing something with it. <laughs> Let's see. And putting it in a furnace, furnace is not the thing. Hold on. What are you making? <laughs> I, need mean, some, I need some more dust. Maybe I need to come back and help you know, guide, guide some more. Uh, turn ingots into dust. Oh, wait. No, hold on. So I'm supposed to be taking the copper ore making ingots. Right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Oh, so I was doing the right thing. Oh, man. This is awesome. Uh, though, if, if yes, make it to ingots. And then if we want to turn that into dust, we will do that after it's in ingot form. Fantastic. Whew. Yeah, it's, <sighs> it'll be nice when we can automate some more of these steps and just kind of yeah. have m machines do this sort of thing for us. Because apparently I can only retain about three different things you tell me <laughs> at any Absolutely. given time. Absolutely. Where if, the sword if is, <laughs> where the furnaces are, <laughs> yeah, and if you get where the signs are is just about it. <laughs> If you get a chance to make a Bibliocraft clipboard, that would probably be nice, too. <laughs> uh, clipboard. Yeah, people are going to think that I'm joking about that nip, but no. We're, we're making you a clipboard. That's, that is vital to the success of this series. There's so many past, things vital to the success of this series. If we want to make it past episode four... <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take my mm, iron mortar, wherever that went. <laughs> Mordor. Mordor. Put that in there. Look at that. I got, no, I don't need that. I probably want to put the copper in there, not the bronze. All right, I've got a nice little mine starting to go not far from the house, actually. So we'll be able to just pop kind of right, right outside. It's There aren't any pre-existing caves that I found yet, but this way we can set up a more effective strip mine. Uh, I know I've asked you before, you know, what's the kind of preferred mining method that you like to do? And I gave kind of some sort of BS the, answer. Exactly. The <laughs> what we see is what we mine. or it's, I, I kind of like to call it the ores of opportunity. Yes. You know, if, if you're there and you see it, grab it. Otherwise, let, well, let's not specifically go for it. Uh, something like I'm kind of doing now is I'll kind of dig a pretty much stairwell down but we can just at various levels have branches off from that point so if we want something like copper and tin which is going to be more plentiful higher up we'll be able to just go to that branch and start heading off if we want something more like diamonds gold something like that we can go deeper down and then I gotcha. go off to one of the branches so it'll, uh, I, and I, I did have to look up uh, flint tools are pretty much the same strength as cobblestone tools but do just last longer they are more durable so yeah as much flint as we can try to come up with okay oh gosh and my inventory is already full what can i do <laughs> i don't need string i don't need two mushrooms i do need that coal i'm gonna come back what do you have against that. mushrooms <laughs> everything i have oh. mushrooms uh, and I'd like to set up a little mining outpost so we can have uh, something like a, a chest to just be able to dump ores. And it'll be nice too once we start to, if we can find an abandoned mine shaft and grab some of that rail, we'll be able to just send a mining cart up and have it come straight True. pretty much right to the house. That would be nice. That would be nice. All right, let's see here. What did I get? Some tin ore. Got some lapis here, various wood. I have like four different iron pickaxes that I am clearly not using at the moment. If you, uh, you know, need one, yes. But give me two, <laughs> please. <laughs> there you go. So, did you make another hammer? Uh, give me a minute. You didn't, because uh, there's that hammer that's on our tool rack, by the way. You... Remember what? <laughs> you remember what I said about three things? <laughs> Uh, can you can you toss me that iron pickaxe? Because he never actually got it to me. You picked it back up. <laughs> uh, well, I need to make a mortar anyway. So uh, yeah, excellent. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, so like I said before, the menace of our series is your lack of direction <laughs> and <laughs> really just so many things. Horrible, horrible, horrible lack of direction. Yep. Okay, I'm I'm gonna toss a chest over here for food stuff, the kind of more organic materials. Uh, bones, we can use that for bone meal just to... We, we, you know, I might just have to repurpose part of the upstairs at some point. For the bedroom? The be the bedroom. I mean, we're not getting uh, much the, use the out of it so far. What? Well, woo, woo. <laughs> I mean, okay, hello. Hold on, I gotta go mine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. All right. That's this. Let's see. I've got we're already things. so much further ahead than I ever was on my personal series of doing Greg Tech stuff, just having somebody else to help kind of, you know, mine or be working on something else while I'm off mining. That's just, uh, saves so much time. Ooh. Uh, oh, no. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, dear. I'm I'm a goner. Are you? Really? Uh, Please don't be. Oh. <laughs> C. Ziegler was shot by a skeleton. Well, it's fortunately just right outside, but... Uh, it, you know that that's that bedroom that we're not using. Can we go, go ahead and pop, pop, pop here if you wanna come come upstairs? That it's <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? Oh, <laughs> okay. Ah. All right. Well, hold on here. Let's see. What do we have? I got uh, got some. Yeah. So yeah, once I introduced you to the Yogg's cast, did you imagine that this kind of online YouTube series was kind of as big of a thing that... Yeah, you know, I really is? didn't. I really didn't think it was that big of a thing. I mean, was could have been that big of a thing, but yeah, it's yeah. pretty awesome. Uh, balls. Oh, that skeleton is just being a jerk. <laughs> Hanging out in the water so he doesn't catch on fire. Out of range of me trying to punch him. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die again. Seriously? <laughs> well... You know, if you just left him alone, what's he doing well, to you, really? <laughs> He's pretty much camp spawn camping my, my <laughs> gravestone, so I can't get to him. That seems unfortunate. A little bit. Oh, oh gosh, there's two of them. Okay, well... Oh, hmm. Somewhere around here I made... There it is. Man. All right, so we're going to put some... Ten okay, boom. Done... Let's see here. Alright. So let's see. Hey, definitely gonna have to load us up with some more weapons and armor and there's many things that we need. Many things that we are short of. Definitely so. Alright, so I gotta take the dust and I gotta fire it. Why do I keep doing that? I have four furnaces and I'm putting everything in a single furnace. Hmm. All right, let my health come back just a little bit more, and then I'll be able to hopefully take the fight back to them. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. That sounded somewhat painful. Uh, I'm having to swim at him, and he's shooting too fast that I can't even get close enough to punch him. Ah, uh, and I'm all but dead again. That, that is the most frustrating change in vanilla Minecraft that they made, is that the closer you get to skeletons, the faster they shoot. I didn't know that. Yeah, that was something added... I guess maybe in this version, 1.6, yeah, the closer you get to skeletons, the faster they shoot. So, in something like this, where I'm trying to catch up to him in the water, I mm. just cannot get close enough to him. Uh, all right. Okay, I've got uh, I've got four bronze fluid pipes. Uh, oh, perfect. You think that'll that's be, good? That'll be more than enough. All right, well, I will move on to the 
Smelter. 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 Excellent. Let's see. Yeah, that'll let Dude, us get you uh you you came back with some uh body accessories. <laughs> and, <laughs> including um, I don't even want to, wait, hold on. There's, there's literally one like two meters above you, straight up. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yep, I don't understand it either. Do you have like a, you know, a howitzer or something that I can borrow to throw at that skeleton? Uh, hold on, hold on. Like a sword. Um, that that should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a sword. Here, have a sword. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank, yeah. thank goodness. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm supposed to be making a smelter while you go and battle. Oh Every, yeah, everything. Yep. All right, here we go. Taking the fight back to the guy. He's probably gonna have despawned by now. There he is. There he is. Now, do we need a All steam right. furnace? I I know we need some for the smelter, but do we need a legit steam furnace as well? The steam furnace will be nice, just to act as a furnace that can run off of steam instead of having to use coal. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. <sighs> so I need two of them for the uh, smelter. So I'll just make three if I can. Yeah, the smelter is going to be the priority, though, so we can extend our bronze usage. And really, all of this ultimately, as you can see at the bottom of our to-do list, all of this is ultimately going for making that bronze blast, blast furnace. furnace. That'll let us start making steel so we can start to make electricity and stuff like that. I gotcha. Ah, I need to set up a little more of a secure... Hey, how much cobblestone do you have? Uh, Lots. I will take whatever you have because we are fresh out and okay. I need to make a couple of furnaces. Okay, uh, give me just a moment. I will get the rest of this coal so I can bring you some coal. I I feel like now is a good answer. Now? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell you what, I even found some iron to bring back. Oh, to fantastic. So if you can give me just a little bit longer than now. <laughs> sure. Okay, I'll, here uh, we go. I'll just do some calisthenics here. Excellent. Uh, the uh, Tinker's Construct setting up that smell tree will actually let us start doubling ores, which, again, is a little bit cheaty for what Greg Tech wants you to do, but true, it'll save us time on the series just so we're not spending hours and days upon hours and days making, <laughs> digging for stuff that could be done much more easily. All right, so 11 pieces of coal... There's a bunch of cobblestone. Right, everything's Fantastic. in that top chest there for you. I can dig it. Huh? Uh, well, actually, I think you're digging uh, it, but, you know. Uh, uh. <laughs> I can make it. <laughs> Let's see. So we need some furnaces. We need bricks. I've got some bricks. I need a brass or a basic. No. Bra Bronze machine hole. Wow, that's a lot of bronze. Uh, can it be done with iron? What are you trying to make the smelter? I'm trying to make the steam furnaces. Oh, have you made the smelter yet? I need a steam. I need two steam furnaces to make the smelter. Oh my goodness gracious! Okay, well, let's see here. And you need so two steam a furnaces. Brass machine hole, aluminum machine hole, basic machine casing. Uh, yeah, the basic machine casing or the iron machine hole. You can. That'll be. Uh, that'll that'll be more effective for our. It'll use up a bunch of our iron, but it'll be more effective use of our materials, really. Yeah, we're gonna have to set up some sort of turret or howitzer or. I'm okay with that. Something outside. You left like every door open. Uh, uh <laughs> burglars. 